and now we are going to look at how to set up a professional email within Buildroll and that's an email that's connected to your domain. So to do this all we have to do is come up under apps and then go to custom email under email and engagements and click that. And that will take us here again you have a short video you could watch uh, that will give you an overview on how to do this but i will just show you and you have the domains that's connected to builder all here you just have to click your uh, domain the one you want to create a mail for and then on your right you can see create mail so let's hit that and now we could just call this maybe info or support or whatever you want you can create uh, more than one mail so don't worry about that and then obviously add a strong password and make sure to confirm it then hit create and it's added successfully now if you want to create another mail for the same domain just uh, do this all over again Good. Uh, from here we could uh, view our email list and then if we click uh, the arrow here on our domain we could either delete the dom uh, email we just created, uh, we can change the password or we can configure it. So the configuration allows us to forward any mail that comes to this address to any other address so that could be your Gmail for example. And you could also choose here to, to save a local copy on uh, your webmail server, uh, even though it's forwarded to your, let's say, Gmail. All right. And if you want to uh, use it as an alias, you can do that as well. Now let's go back to our email list. And here we could choose either to create another mail again, same thing, or we could access the mail we just created. So let's do that first. Now the problem here is that we have not yet enabled the SSL certificate for our web mail. So let's do that now. And in order for us to do that, we need to come up under apps again, and then go to mailing boss. And in mailing boss, uh, go to the left corner here, hit this to bring up the menu, go down to domains. And then enable our SSL for the uh, domain that we want to enable it for. Okay, this might take some time, so just uh, leave it be for now and come back to it later. Okay, so about two hours have passed by and I've logged back into my Builderall account. Now let's go up to apps and to mailing boss. And as we can see here, our SSL is now active. So let's come up here in the left corner, hit this and go to sender emails and then create new. Let's give it a name. And then add our email. Okay, looks good. Now we can hit save changes. And here is our sender email. And as we can see, it's not yet verified. So that's the next thing we need to do. And in order for us to do that, we need to go back to the build role office. We can do that either through just uh, closing down mailing boss here or hitting this here and go to build role office like that. And then under apps, we need to find the custom email. Choose the email and go to view email list. Then again, choose the domain and find our email. Go to access webmail and then enter our email here. And then enter our password and log in. And here we find the uh, mailing boss sender validation. So if we click that, load it, then we just need to click this link 
to uh, confirm our sender validation. Now it's validated, meaning that if we come back into Mailing Boss and refresh the page, we can see that our sender email is now verified, meaning that we can now use it to send emails through our autoresponder. And so we'll go a little bit deeper into how to set up our autoresponder and start building our email list soon. And now as a bonus, let me show you how we can connect our Buildroll webmail to our Gmail account so that we can send and receive uh, mail straight to our Gmail account. And we can do this for any webmail. In this case, we're going to do it for the webmail we have in Buildroll, but this really works for any webmail you have with any host. Uh, so it's really good because you can then uh, connect a few different webmails to your Gmail account and both send and receive emails to those webmails from those webmails all to your Gmail account. So you only have to log into one account, your Gmail account in this case. Now, let me show you how it's done. So in Buildroll, we're going to come up to apps and then find our DNS manager. And this will be the same with any uh, web host you have. So if you have a domain parked with a certain host and they also give you a few webmails, the process would be the same. Find your DNS manager, find the domain for which you want to connect the webmail. In this case, it's our techtoolreview.com domain. And here we click view details. And among your details, what you need to find is the MX host and copy that. Then you need to come over to your Gmail account and find the little gear button up in the right corner here and click that. And then go to see all settings. Here under settings, you need to find accounts and import and click that. Then go down to where it says send mail as and click the add another email address. Now, of course, you should give this email address a name. In this case, we're going to use our info info at tech tool review and then we're gonna of course write in the email address like that make sure to um, write the full address uh, you could treat it as an alias if you want and you can obviously learn more about that here uh, or not in this case we're not gonna treat it as a alias from here we click next step and this is where we need to make sure we paste that MX host that we copied, unless it finds it automatically, which it did, but uh, to be sure, paste the uh, MX host. Then we're going to change the port to 465. We are going to keep it at secure connection using the SSL recommended. The username will be your email address. Use the same password that you used for your uh, webmail login and then hit add account. And then obviously we have to uh, go into our webmail to find the code. So let's do that. And in build role, we just have to come up to apps and then go to uh, custom email. Click the view email list. and find the access webmail under our domain. And here we have to log in and here we see the uh, Gmail confirmation. So we click that and find the confirmation code, copy that, then come back into Gmail and uh, find uh, this and copy our code here. And then we click verify. And now you see we have our mail here and we can send mail as this. We can make this our default email if we want that. And we can also choose down here if we want to reply from the same address that the message was sent to, depending on which email it's sent to. 
So that's all good. Now we can send email as in this case info at techtoolreview.com. However, we also want Gmail to check mails that are coming into our webmail so that those mails get sent to Gmail. And to do that, we need to uh, go down to where it says check mail from other accounts and click the add account here. And then write in the email address, of course. And click next. Here we're just going to keep it uh, at the import emails from my other accounts with the pop3 uh, and hit next. The username again is our email address. The password is the same that you used for your webmail login. The pop server here we need to change to the... Uh, so let's go back into our DNS manager in build role and find the MX host here again and copy that once again. Now we can come back here and add that there. Uh, I want to leave a copy of the retrieve message on the server. That's my in my webmail inbox as well. Uh, I always want to use a secure connection SSL when uh, retrieving my emails. I want to label my incoming emails as uh, my email here and I could skip the inbox if I want to do that. Now the last thing we're going to do is to change the port from 110 to 995 and then click add account. And now you can see it is linked. And we can check mail now if we want. It's already been fa uh, fetched. All right, so that's how you set it up. Now we can both send mail as uh, our webmail, in this case, info at techtoolreview.com, or uh, receive mail from our webmail straight into our Gmail inbox. And since we said that we wish to uh, label our incoming message as info at Tectal Review. Uh, we will find it on this side here under, let me see, here we are, info at Tectal Review. So if we click that, we can see that we have the same three emails that we have in our webmail inbox which tells us, of course, uh, that this is working. And now, of course, since we have already read these emails, we could uh, either delete them totally uh, or mark them as read here too. Cool, so that's how you uh, set up your webmail with your Gmail account. And like I said, this works for any webmail uh, with any host. The process is the same.